Hello traders, this is Elizabeth Bilogina and you're watching daily stock market review by Tradimo. It's Friday, April 12th and certainly it is a very exciting day for stocks. American index S&P 500 rose to the highest levels in six months and this dynamics took place after China released trade and lending figures and uh, the figures showed that uh, the nation's economy is rather stable. In addition, the earnings season has started in America and two big banks reported earnings, which turned out to be rather positive. The market for some time has been pricing in negative outcome and negative situation for American banks and a positive surprise surely lifted the market sentiment. We can see that S&P 500 is above 2900, but um, although we are of course close to significant resistance to the all-time highs around 2950, so corrections to the downside are possible despite the overall optimism of the market. But let's have a look at the bank stocks because they are the main um, newsmakers today. GP Morgan Chase rose above 110. The major um, indicators came above expectations for the bank and net income jumped um, to the record level. The situation of the bank was helped by four rate hikes that the US Federal Reserve made last year. This year, of course, the bank won't have this positive um, stimulus because uh, rates will likely stay lower. However, the short-term picture has improved and the level of uh, 107.50, which used to be a resistance, will from now on act as support. On the upside, uh, levels to watch are located around 112.85 and uh, levels around 115. As for Wells Fargo, the second bank which reported earnings today, it had the best first quarter in five years and net income rose by 14% as the bank cut costs and its revenue fell less than expected. However, you can see on the daily chart that here the stock declined and the problem may be related to the fact that total deposits fell and the bank is still fighting the consequences of various scandals and problems with its management. So uh, as a result, it remains under pressure. We can see that technically resistance around $49 wasn't um, wasn't breached and it caps uh, the price on the upside so um, support is located around uh, 46 and 44 levels and it will be interesting to see how the situation will uh, develop further another newsmaker was disney company have a look um, at the price action which is happening here uh, the stock actually rose above some major resistance in the area of 120 we even need to turn on the monthly chart to see that and it happened as disney had an investor day on thursday and the company announced its streaming service it turns out that it will be competing with uh, netflix uh, because um, the company will pull out the existing shows which are now available at netflix and will uh, show them at their own platform the new streaming service will also receive a lot of investment for from the company because there will be a lot of original content created and subscription is cheaper than that of netflix that is certainly another uh, factor which speaks in favor of disney and it looks like um, investors are sure that the new endeavor of the company will be a success and that disney will be a serious player at this uh, streaming market
As a result, we can see that there was a big break and uh, the levels around 120 will now act as support while well the natural resistance is 130 and probably will consolidate between these levels for some time after this breakthrough. Netflix um, suffered from Disney's announcement and uh, the daily chart shows us that um, here the stock lacks momentum but it fell below levels around 360 and may get to 200 day moving average which is located around 338. Apple is also under pressure because um, Apple has also recently announced uh, its entry into the streaming business and it might be more difficult for Apple to compete um, than for Disney. So we see that uh, the attempt to um, close this week above the level of 200 probably failed. And this opens the way down for a deeper correction to 191, the 200-day moving average, and uh, the support and Fibonacci around 180. Um, eight mark. Finally, um, we have to mention that there were news from a uh, ride-sharing company Uber released details uh, about its upcoming IPO next month and it seems like um, the markets are not as optimistic about this business as they were during the Lyft's IPO. We can see that the stock is trading at lower levels. I remind you that the IPO price was around $72. Now we are just above $58. And well, the problem is that both companies um, are showing losses and Uber is not really sure that it will be able to um, show profit. It has a lot of challenges regarding um, drivers, regarding uh, various costs. So um, that concerns about Uber also are uh, making pressure on the stock of Lyft. These were the most interesting stocks so far. Have a nice Friday and weekend and we'll meet again on Monday. And if you liked the video, subscribe to Trading More YouTube channel.